good morning welcome to the vlog it is starting in the dutch bros drive through grabbing a coffee for my wife before i go off and do uber for about 12 hours that's my goal today um also what we're going to talk about today is why i'm doing what i'm doing why i'm doing side hustles and things on the side so i'll get into that in a little bit uh, but yeah, it's gonna be a great day. It's Saturday morning. Um, it's gonna be a fun day. I don't think it's gonna be overly hot. Um, a side note, my air conditioning is broken in my car. So I'm constantly driving with the windows down, trying to keep it cool in here. Uh, there were a couple days this week. It was pretty toasty. We're at Best Buy. Gotta look for a camera case. Might help if I had my wallet. I take my wallet out of my pocket. It's super uncomfortable to drive with in my pocket all day. So, yeah. Just try to make it more comfortable when you're in the car for an ungodly amount of time. I might have already found it. I literally think this will work. So. get like a GoPro sticker or something to stick on it so all right now I'm over here at the GoPro accessories the legit GoPro accessories but the thing with the GoPro accessories is they're so freaking expensive I feel like I can do better so I was standing in line about to check out and then I pull out my phone for my Best Buy app and they said mobile self checkout and I'm like okay so they say scan your items submit your payment and show the uh show it to the employee at the front of the store and so i do my thing submit it said congratulations you're good to go and showed it to him and he goes are you ryan i'm like yeah i'm ryan he goes all right let me see the items yep you're good to go how cool is that okay now we have the things we need so this is gonna be awesome all right quiet uber morning so far um at the beginning of this video i alluded to what i kind of wanted to talk about today as far as why am i working essentially two jobs why am i working um doing uber eats when i work a full-time job so reality is life is expensive um but because of some what dave ramsey would call stupid um decisions that i made last year i am now paying for it this year um and that doesn't make anything easier and on top of that i started a new job where it is commissioned and it does take a little bit of time for that process to get started to where those paychecks are enough to you know live off of essentially and so um it's been a great change it's been a really positive change for me but it just takes time and sometimes that's just life and so i have really two options option number one i cower into a corner and everything falls apart um or option number two i put my nose down and i get to work and i do a bunch of extra things to make whatever it is that i'm doing at that moment work I don't really feel like I have an option. I mean, I really don't. I have a wife and kids and a house and responsibilities and liabilities. It's just, I don't have an option. Yeah, that is why I'm doing Uber. That is why I'm starting this YouTube channel because I'm like, and trying to post every single day. Um, Cause I feel like there's a real opportunity here. I feel like there's a real opportunity to grow something and uh, grow a community and share more about my life. Uh, this upcoming week, I plan on incorporating more portions of my day into the vlog. Um, Cause as of right now, it's just been kind of this Uber stuff, but I plan on incorporating more and more into my, um, into the vlog because I don't know, I feel like maybe there's some value in there for the people who are watching. So a little bit of a update as far as Uber and how it's going. I just got my first request for three bucks and it's 2.9 miles, but it was from this place and I'm not gonna throw out names, I'm not doing that, but it's from this one restaurant that I know better than to pick up from. I would say 75 to 80% of the time I go there, the order's already been picked up um, or it takes like 30 minutes for them to do it. It's a food place that has no business taking 30 minutes to get you your food. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, I just went from Uber driver to caterer. We got two catering orders. I've never gotten these before. Just like two giant orders of, I'll show you this. This is nuts. Look at this. Look at that. 
one, two. And it's two separate. It's like, this one's like 30 sandwiches, 18 sandwiches. Anyways, it's, that's insane. That's cool. So yeah, they got some sort of event going on here. So yeah, looks like a bunch of track and field stuff, but then also like football practice or something. I don't know. There's a bunch of cool stuff going on. Okay, now we're going to the next one. All right, finally getting some trips that are gonna make this morning worth it, and then hopefully carry that momentum into the afternoon. All right, we're gonna have to find lunch here soon. I'm getting hungry. Typically the place I go for lunch is straight from New York pizza. Definitely not the cheapest pizza, but it's cheaper than a lot of places and it's really good. So that'll be, uh, that'll probably happen here shortly. Some speed bumps. Ugh. In certain apartment complexes that are just nasty. It's like, who signed off on these? I mean, I get the purpose of speed bumps, but do they really need to be that aggressive? Lunch break is done, now we're back to it. They've got like a promotion going on right now that if I complete five trips by five o'clock, I get an extra 10 bucks. So that's the mission right now. And then we'll go from there, but I'm feeling pretty good. Um, at about 30 some odd dollars right now. And so we still got a lot of work to do. It's been kind of a slow day, even though I got started pretty early. Um, but I'm just gonna keep rocking and rolling, listening to the uh, Notre Dame, um, Northern Indiana, uh college football game right now so that's definitely been fun this doesn't happen very often but it's always funny to me when somebody who works at a restaurant orders food from another restaurant to be delivered to their place of work like i get it that maybe you don't want whatever's on the menu at you know the place you work at because you work there a lot and there's a good chance you're probably eating that quite a bit but i don't know it always just strikes me as funny well, this is a stark contrast to last weekend. Last weekend, it was trip after trip after trip after trip, and I was really hitting a great hourly average, but golly, I think I've been going for almost five hours now. And I'm at like 60 some odd bucks, which is not that great for a Saturday. I don't know what it is. I just haven't hit like a stride where it's just like boom, 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 boom. Usually it's just trip, you know, one trip after another. But that has not been today. All right, hopefully this is the start of some good trips. It's not a great trip, but it's a halfway decent trip, so. That's gonna do it for tonight. I drove for Uber for almost, or probably just a little over 10 hours. Oh, there, now you can see me. Um, and I made like 174 bucks. It was not a very good day for Uber, but hey, some days are like that. Um, spending so much time in the car by myself uh, gave me a lot to think about as far as this vlog is concerned. I've got some ideas, I got some new things I wanna implement, and it's, you know, I've. The big thing for me is I wanna create something that's actually entertaining to watch and that brings you some level of value uh, because you're taking your time to watch it or the idea is that people will take their time to watch it and I want it to be worth it. So that being said, I've got some stuff that I'm thinking about and how I wanna structure this vlog, but hopefully today was a little bit more entertaining, got to see a little bit more of my day. This is Saturday, so that's kind of you know by nature. But thank you so much for watching everybody, God bless and we'll see you tomorrow.